Flame got the giant map out! Thanks, Flame! You knew exactly what we were thinking, and we're going to put this to great use. Nice work, Flame! Good morning, dragons! I'm Mr. Slerno, and this is Flame, and look what's back on the attack! And we want to welcome you to the News of Camelot! Today's Wednesday, February 9th, 2022, and Flame, let's put this big guy to good use before we get going on that, dragons. Let's see what Alexa has to say. Take it away, Alexa. Super job, Alexa. We're so glad you led us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the Moment of Silence. Flame, the sun is going to rise today at 7.07 in the morning, and it's going to set at 5.40 in the evening. A little more sunlight, dragons. And Flame, this is great. Two straight Wednesdays where we get to use the giant map. And speaking of using their muscles, we know that the Olympians are using their muscles. Right, dragons? So let's put this to good use. Got the giant map out, and did you know that the United States has hosted the Winter Olympics on four occasions in three different cities, and they span over a long period of time, and the third ever Winter Olympics, right, and the Winter Olympics that took place in 1980 took place way over here in New York in a place called Lake Placid in the middle of New York. There were some very memorable games Winter Olympic Games in Lake Placid that took place in the United States did very well in these games. And then the second time the United States hosted the Winter Olympics was here in Northern California at a place called Squaw Valley in 1960. Another very memorable games for the United States. And then, like we said, 20 years ago, 20 years ago in Salt Lake City, Utah, right here in the western part, in the Rocky Mountains, the United States hosted the Winter Olympics in 2002, which was very fun. You know what else we could use the map for, Flame, since we're at it? Right, let's see if the Dragons can remember where the Super Bowl teams are from. So we have those cities where the Olympics were hosted. Where's Cincinnati, Flame? Do you remember where Cincinnati is? Is it here in Kansas or Missouri? No, that's Kansas City. Yeah, it's over here in Ohio, in the southern part of Ohio. Here's Cincinnati. Dragons and look Cincinnati is going to play way over here. They're gonna play Los Angeles And you know what's funny dragons? Do you know where the Super Bowl is being played? The Super Bowl is being played in Southern California right next to Los Angeles in Inglewood, California, so the Rams have to travel uh, Nowhere they're in their home stadium Cincinnati has to travel all the way across the country to get to the Super Bowl. So that's a little bit of a disadvantage, but the good news is, the good news is it is a beautiful place. It's a beautiful city in Los Angeles, and it's the second straight year where the host team gets to play the Super Bowl in their stadium. Last year was in Tampa Bay over here where Flame is standing, and this year it's in Los Angeles. So just a great way to use the map, Flame. That is awesome thinking, and we hope we learned a little bit something about our wonderful country. Dun -dun -dun. It's time for the birthday box. Feeling good, Flame. I just, I could do geography all the live long day with all the places where cities host sports and things like that. And you know what else I could do all day are the birthdays. The birthdays. I hope we have one. We do, dragons. Don't worry. Spencer Marsh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you, Spencer, in kindergarten in Miss Brown and Miss Lozano's class. That is wonderful, wonderful news. Way to go, Spencer. And like we said, Dragons, we have this fun trivia question that we won't know the answer to until Sunday, right? Who will win the Super Bowl? Will it be the Cincinnati Bengals or will it be the Los Angeles Rams? You've got to make your guess. And if we... Maybe Matt, that's a good idea, Flame. We won't announce all the winners because we want to stay humble, but maybe we could count the number of Dragons that did choose 
the winning team, whichever that team might be. So we want to keep our humility intact. We just want to see if we can make a cool prediction. And who knows, maybe we'll be right, and maybe we won't be right, but it's okay, because we will stay humble no matter what. So, on behalf of Flame, I'm Mr. Cerno. Enjoy the giant map today, Dragon. Stay humble in whatever you do, and we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone.